Is Bitcoin getting ready to continue the dump to the downside and shake out the temperamental in the market? Or is this just a quick pullback before the bullish movements do continue, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Bitcoin video. Let's not waste any of your time. Let's take a look at Bitcoin's price action. We're going to start us off today on the hourly chart here for Bitcoin's price action after we did, of course, see yesterday Bitcoin pushing up to $64,500 into that expected target area for this corrective A, B and C structure. We have, of course, seen Bitcoin dropping to the downside. But before we analyze that drop to the downside, we first of all want to look at where Bitcoin managed to get to. And what we will do for this instance is take the high from the 27th of September and the low we had right here on the 3rd of October. And when we look at this Fibonacci, we do see one very interesting thing for Bitcoin's price as we do bring over to the high wick that we did get yesterday. That wick, of course, coming up to $64,478, we can see rejection was found once again on the 702 Fibonacci level. This, of course, being a favoured Fibonacci for Bitcoin's price action. So we found a resistance level. But more interestingly, Bitcoin in itself was trying to find support right here on the 50 AMA, the 50 SMA and the 200 exponential moving average. Currently not managing to hold this as support. We have pushed back up overnight, finding resistance on the 50 AMA and 50 SMA and that price action is dropping to the downside. Now on this drop to the downside, we can see that we are starting to stack up bearish divergence. This isn't being ignored and like we have been covering down in our TA sessions, which are happening four times a week, guys, check them out. They are in our Discord linked in the description down below, where we've been talking about bearish and bullish divergences. Now, time and time again, we're seeing bullish and bearish divergence ignored. And at this point right here, this bearish divergence not being ignored, we've then moved forward again to yesterday, Printing more bearish divergence and once again this not being ignored, so we should be respecting the bearish divergence that is sitting here. And the expectation for myself is for that bearish divergence to play out, for Bitcoin to shake out some more in the space before we do look for that next push to the upside. So what we want to now focus in on is this drop to the downside and where is this one likely to go? Well, first of all, we will draw on a Fibonacci from the low that we did have here on Thursday, 3rd of October at 2pm UTC plus 1 and bring it over to that swing high that we did get yesterday at 3 p.m. UTC. And what we will, of course, do is, first of all, look at where we're ex the expected area that we're looking for Bitcoin to come down to, and we're right inside of this area, or just trying to touch on this area as price currently sits. And this area is the 0 0.5 to the 0 0.882 Fibonacci levels between $62,109 and 60,358. This is the expected area that we are looking for Bitcoin to drop on down to. And we can see yesterday or this morning at midnight, we did touch on this area. But with us pushing up here, finding resistance on the 50 EMA and the 50 SMA, the expectation is to come back down one more time. Now let's zoom into this one a little bit more and we can be a bit clearer and perhaps look for a little trade on this one. I do believe that short is the way on the short term here for Bitcoin. What we will do first of all is take that high from Monday the 7th at 3 p.m. down to this low on Monday 7th at 7 p.m. Quick short drop to the downside. And I want to bring over to this swing high that we do have here Monday the 7th at 8 p.m. UTC plus one at $63,468.72. And from here, we will then target out that next drop we're expecting Bitcoin to drop on down to, which of course will be the one-to-one -to, -one to the 1.236 Fibonacci levels. This target area here will fall at $61,753 down towards $61,355. And like we can see, there's a very interesting spot right inside of here. This being the fair value gap from the push to the upside on the 4th of October, the 4 p.m. candle, likelihood is we're going to see Bitcoin's price drop on down to here. And on top of this point, let me just clear that Fibonacci off. We'll draw that structure on the expected movement here for Bitcoin before we do advance an ABC corrective movement. What we will also do is take that inverse Fibonacci and we'll look at where price action is likely to come down and test. And on this instance, we can see that that 618 Fibonacci level does fall right on that fair value gap does fall right within that target area we have got set. 702, I would keep our eyes on that one, around about $61,177. Another level I do feel would be very interesting for the price action to drop on down to. Now, if we're going to jump in on a trade on this one, 
I do think there is a potential if we're going to jump in on its market price. Stop loss, yeah, we'd have that set up there above the 50 EMA and the 50 SMA. And our target, we can draw this one all the way down. Now, we'd like, obviously, Nick likes to highlight a 1.5 would be that risk reward ratio. And that 1.5 would see the price action come down to around about $61,550. And I do think there is a good trading opportunity on the table just there. Like the cipher has shown, we are confirmed bearish from that print 7 o'clock this morning, of course recording this one an hour or so in advance of the video go out. But in my opinion, we should be looking to short that market down to around about $61,500. Look to find support in and around this area. Then, of course, our next move will indeed be to the upside for Bitcoin's price. My personal take is this is a bit of a shakeout before the bullishness continues. Quickly bringing us up onto the daily chart. A lot going on here, but it is actually fairly simple. The expected move for Bitcoin has been to see us come up once again to $63,000 to $65,500. We of course did that yesterday and we are now expecting a bit of a drop to the downside. Like we looked at on the lower time frames, around about $61,500 on the hourly is the expected move. And we can see right here that 50 exponential moving average sitting at $61,505. So yes, short term moves to the downside is expected. The daily cipher here is starting to drop on down there's not a lot of confidence here we do expect volatility so yes another drop to the downside i would say is the expectation but this here in my opinion would be a short-term shakeout before we do look for that bullish continuation back up into that area between 63 and 65 and a half thousand dollars for bitcoin one quick look before we wrap up for today will be the weekly time frame there for bitcoin's price action now, we've been tracking this fantastically well down in our TA sessions, once again, four times a week in our Discord that is linked in the description down below, guys. Head on over and join us on our TA sessions, one taking place in around about four or five hours from now. The expected move for Bitcoin was to come up to 60,100 to 70,299. We're well and truly within that area. And so far, we are monitoring this as a corrective movement for Bitcoin. We don't see this as impulsive. We do have this lower high trend line. The expectation is for this to be tested. That is in and around about the $69,000 to $70,000 level. So yes, we are shaking out the market as we do currently sit. The expectation is for a push up towards that $69,000 to $70,000 level, retesting those lower highs. But from here is where things get interesting. If we find resistance, we will expect another drop in the market. That is my full expectation. However, if we can break the resistance of the lower highs, then we are looking to retest the all-time high with that bullish potential of $81,000 to $95,000 very much still on the table. I'll leave that update there for today, guys. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Are you looking to short long Bitcoin? Are you looking for that bullish target and a new all-time high before any potential pullbacks? Let us know in the comment section down below. Continue checking out the phenomenal content that this channel is bringing you by checking out this video right here.